Hey, I'm Pete. And I'm MJ. We watched a few of the Oscar movies. We didn't watch all of them, but we watched some, and it was it was fun. Yeah, I I try every year to get everyone, every single one in. I never make it, but this year we're pretty close. We're pre Obviously, Oscar movies are going to be deep, so there are some deep conversations there. But then we dive into Chapter Five of Saga. I there was some debate. I think it was Chapter Five, though. I'm pretty sure it's Chapter Five. Listen and watch to find out. I was Pete. In this introduction. I'm MJ always, so there you go. <laughs> Much love. Enjoy the <gasps> podcast. Hi, hi. Okay, here you go. Oh, we're going to do this. But if you don't want to do it. But... Your tonsils look so swollen. Do you have tonsils? You have tonsils, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, gross. Just kidding. So, I don't understand the idea of a dust bath. Uh, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like you just let it burrow in some dust and it feels nice to it. Like, do you just, like, rub dust into it sometimes also? Maybe just, like, having, like, a or sandbox. Like, have dust instead present? of kitty litter, it's a sand, uh, a nice little dust pit that they can go dust themselves in. But what does the dust do? Huh. Interesting. Like? Uh, maybe it feels nice. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's like a cooling technique or some shit. But then it's like, why have fur? But, like, if you have it as a pet, it doesn't need to be cooled. You're controlling the atmosphere. Just make it comfortable for you. Oh, I just saw a yellow butterfly. So it's going to be a very good day. Was it a monarch? That's what I say. Was it a monarch? No. I like, like monarchs. Like a bright yellow one. <gasps> Your shirt has butterflies on it. Didn't even notice. I think I noticed at one point. Does it, though? Yeah. Where? There's, There's just... one here and there and there. That's Oh, there. I thought they were all flowers. No, those are totally butterflies on your shirt. I did this with my shirt today. Twisted it and it makes it all cute. You're a like something of a beads. fashionista. Mm -hmm. Hey. Those are noises made by me. It's a Super Bowl. Oh, today is that. I I honestly didn't even know it was coming up, and then you're like saying the names of teams that are playing, and I don't even I didn't even know those were football teams. I do. What are they? I forgot what they were. I feel like there's a Ram. Oh, and a Bengal. Hmm. Who would win? A Bengal, really? Is that a, a what Bengals? Bengals what Tiger. where? No. Cincinnati Bengals. That's not even a place. Yeah, Cincinnati. Where's Cincinnati? Cleveland? No, it's not. It's a different city. I don't think Cincinnati's in Cleveland most of the time. Cincinnati? Is that in Philadelphia? That's a different city. Philadelphia's got a bell. <laughs> Philadelphia has a bell. Washington, D.C. has I a penis. I know Cincinnati. Oh, you're talking, Mon. New you're... York has hmm. New York. Niagara has a fall. I don't know where Niagara Falls is, though. I think it's upstate New York. I don't know what upstate New York means. I think it means left. Like, to the left, to the left. The New York that you think of, it's like an island somewhere. But then, like... There's New Jersey here. New York's pretty big. And there's big also over New there. Jersey like, here. Like New York's huge over there, right? Because it's such a big compared to all the other states there. It's but it like I think it funnels oh, in, and then there's like a Long Island like that there. people say looks like a penis. I am fascinated by New York. I have no desire to live there, but it's so fucking interesting. Like so much in one spot. Funnels into a thing that has a little island and a thing that looks like a penis. Oh man, do you ever wonder why you start to look like old lady hands? I can watch that. I can watch your hands of leather 
Oh, turn, oh, turn to velvet yeah. and attach. That is a song. That is a song that has always been in our marriage <laughs> for some reason. <clears throat> I am jamming to that song hardcore. Mm -hmm. if it's one of my old old country songs. So yeah, we stopped There's listening a few to a lot Johnny of country Cash songs and Highwaymen. Like certain songs, they come on fancy. I was a highwayman. That was sex trafficking. <laughs> Yeah, fa fancy comes on. I am. Yeah. Just it is. I used to make let's make joke. love. It's oh, my favorite yeah, song I am about yelling about that. You know. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah, it's my uh, favorite song about child uh, sex trafficking. It's, it's, yeah, it's so... man, actually, it think sex about trafficking. It. It's, it's going important. to lead into a lot of what we're talking oh, yeah, we're, about. The movie we watched that it was a remake. Of what? From what? An old version oh my God, of the same so many movies. Nightmare Alley. Wait, Nightmare Alley is Nightmare Alley is the carnival. The car. Okay, okay, okay. What was Bradley Cooper in another movie we just recently watched? Did we recently watch Guardians of the Galaxy? No. <laughs> um, we should rewatch Silver uh, Linings yeah, Playbook. I mean, that is one of my. Okay, listen, I. Oh, I saw I the saw, shadow of the I saw a shadow hummingbird. of the hummingbird, but I did not actually see the hummingbird. But it was just hovering there, so I knew it was oh, hummingbird man. and not. We ran out of bird seed, and these birds they looked so, so pissed. And, like, they're all looking at me. The same birds that three days ago I tried to stand in front of them with a handful of bird seed. <laughs> they would come the nowhere end. near. I do want to. I'm do gonna that. lure them Did, in. Have you seen that TikTok where Just she temporary. put like the bird seed right here on oh, a man. pair of glasses, and then <laughs> the birds come right? I would, I would be I, so excited. I, would, I kind of want to try it. Like, me just too. Blink it up. Except for I've seen these assholes peck pretty damn hard at oh, the yeah, glass on are, that bird feeder. They are dicks sometimes. Yeah, that's true. They would like crack straight through the glass. Especially that grackle. Grackle? This it's right behind us over here. Just oh yeah, that's the... got that's got like a at least an inch long beak. And it's like curved mm -hmm. that would get underneath the glasses and because it that's Just what it's made take for. Take an eye straight mm -hmm. out. The Just uh what was the bird's name? The common grackle. The uh grackle beak straight to your eye scooped out. That's actually how they evolved. Like people started <laughs> saw that TikTok video and uh, they started doing that. So this bird was like, "Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna get a mate if I look ridiculous." And their I thought these beak chocolate chips were way bigger. Evolved to punish us for their humiliation. Oh, interesting. What is that? That's Matt Smith, right? Yeah. yeah, he's Matt Smith will always be my doctor. I like Doctor Who. That's one of yours my... is David Tennant, right? I believe I go back and forth. Matt Smith is just one so the most invested. The storyline with um, what are they called? Um, the Pawns. Yeah, that was. That... I mean, our dog is named after their daughter. Oh, River Song. River Song, Melody Pond. Spoilers. It's twenty years old. I know. And if we, if they haven't watched it, really, it, it's it feels so old. It's not. I think it's it's like it's pretty damn old. I'm almost forty. That's I don't like that. Yeah, we're your friend will be forty as what? I don't know why I don't like that because it's like what else are you gonna do? I know it's like you're not gonna like, be it. Yeah. I mean, what else are we here to do other than age, and progress, and get older? And it's why is that such a bad thing? Like I, I mean, I was kind of thinking about that because oftentimes being in modeling, I'm like comparing myself, and then I'm like, oh yeah, most of the people I am in this that you're comparing yourself to are that, are a good ten years younger than me that you're choosing to, to compare, compare yourself yeah. to yeah but I, really in the industry there i mean there's not a lot of women my age i would say at least i haven't found them yet 
people that are 35 years old still exist <laughs> and they and and they want to be represented just the same and so on and so forth like at every age you should be able to see what's like an old lady clothing brand Lane Bryant? Lane Bryant seems pretty old lady, except for, I remember my sister <clears throat> shopping there, and I never thought they dressed old lady-ish. What you doing over there with all that noise? Yeah. Um, a big old so, kerfluffle. Um, so those brands that, are, that, that, that you think of as old lady brands, they seem to me... Oh yeah, that's where I was going with it. <laughs> uh, they even have the models for those be in their 20s, and that makes no sense. At the 30s, at least, at the most. Well, I mean, I guess there is some... Uh, there is some representation. It just seems like there's not very much in terms of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I'm very sexual with my posts. But and, are you fuckable? I mean, fuck, yeah. I, I feel like what even my... more so. Like, I got a good... You have a look about... Of you, you, you have your... You know? You you hold your experience in your face. That, right, it, wait, that I is think... a sh that could come off wrong. Your gaze, no. your gaze. No, I know what you mean though. Like it's a little bit of life behind me, mm -hmm. and uh, rightfully so. Like I fucking survived some shit, so I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring it. Like I, you know, and but society is has like, made us question. It. Do you remember whole... Amy Schumer program? Yeah. The, the, tw the one episode that was instead of sketches, oh it was God, one. It was, Twelve Angry that was Men inside Amy episode. Schumer. Didn't it? I feel like it won for something. It should have. That sketch should have won I'm something. Sure. Um, I think it. Did. I hope it did. It, it was, was good. Like because it was Twelve Angry Men, the class, right, like one of those right. true. And then they, she later did another episode with um, Elaine from Friends, Julia Louis Dreyfus. From Friends. She's not on Friends. Not Friends, Seinfeld. You know what I was talking about. Um, but they do that episode where they send them off in a river in a canoe and because they, they've reached a certain age. Oh, yeah, I mean, doesn't that happen, though? I mean, with everyone, even with men yes. at a certain point. But still not... <laughs> Actually, no, much. because I love a salt and pepper fella. <laughs> and... Mm, give me we, that. We just watched. Gray beard. Be mm, am I describing Santa Claus? Who <laughs> knows? Oh. <laughs> the one from the uh, what was it? what were those commercials where he was jacked for some reason? Oh yeah. Mm. Why? And then but he even kept Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell as Santa. I, I you would... never did you? Are you ever regularly? Regularly a Kurt Russell? Yeah, are you regularly a Kurt Russell? <clears throat> Can you even think of anything else that Kurt Russell has done? Yeah, Overboard. Where he... I watched basic, that. Where, where he basically rapes a, a woman after she has... A severe trauma? A severe brain trauma. Yeah, movies back in the day really... I think they just remade it, I think. Nailed it. I don't know if they changed it. So yeah, that. anyway, I, I guess... Have. I didn't it's want to watch it. It's not bad for men because men at any age, they're. Um, we on being the Ricardos. There's that scene where. Oh, great movie! I watch that they're too. talking about the, the jokes between Fred and Ethel. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> Ethel's like, he's old enough to be my grandfather, and I'm his husband or I'm his wife. But yeah, the joke I'm is. Yeah, I'm the butt of the joke. I'm not is pretty enough for him. Of, bud of the butt of the joke? I think it's butt. I don't... I'm gonna say butt. Mm. You nip it in the bud. Nip it in the and bud. It, and bud get that bud. straight or else you'll be the butt of the joke. Mm, indeed, indeed. Okay. Or they make that yeah, comment and, about I it mean, and then he's... Let's be real. Ethel's pretty hot. I... Change the name. I don't like the name Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> ethyl alcohol it's mm -hmm. it's that's what i think of it's type of alcohol yeah he goes into his defense which valid but not yeah. as not more so than he's but, like oh the second you get there's a moment where you become an old man or they stop looking like, at eh. like, 
Oh, really? It's hard for you to be old. Oh. I've never I've never understood the What don't you understood the I've never understood the um why men always expect women to do so much work to meet their standards, but like so but those same men who are or those same people who are putting those standards on others. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. Take no care for themselves. Like, oh, I want a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. Yeah, I want... It, all it, of these I, things. It has, you have to meet all these beauty standards. But, like, what the fuck you bring into the table? And then you don't even wash your balls. Excuse me? <laughs> what? You can't take... You just, can't even, you're, like... You're trimming your just beard. Just a little you can't, soap. Just... Uh, uh, you know? Actually, no, you don't ha even have to trim. You, you just have, have to, to take trim. care of yourself. You just have to be clean. Because you can tell the difference. Yeah. Because, the, I mean, I do talk, we've commented about hair before, right? Like, yeah. clean up down there if you, because no one wants hair in their teeth. Mm. When you come back time, from a camping trip and your, your pubes are all full of dust because you've given them a dust bath. Did you it, just chinchilla your balls? Well, if you haven't shaved them, it's it's what you have to do. It's like when you're not circumcised, you have to pull oh, back the, the tip to clean oh, around right. the edge. Yeah, I mean, that needs to be cleaned as well. Okay. Uh, and, and my point is, if there is hair there and it's clean, I'm okay. Like, it, it doesn't really bother me that much, as long as it's clean. You know, there's a point in every ball sack's life where... You stop where it's people stop looking I at it like it's preference. clean. And start. And start. And start looking at it like a get in real. And start asking why you look. haven't washed it. <laughs> Just wash. And we should feel bad for it. Give it a good wash. Good washing. Uh, I think is what people need to know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You don't have to always shave, though. I was going to say my preference is to be shaved. And I actually was with a woman one time. And she's like, why do you do that for him? Referring to my partner. And uh, I was like, the fuck? I do it for me. Like, I I don't want hair there. That's for me. I, I don't ever request it. Yeah, I don't do that for I anyone other it. than myself. That's, mm -hmm. that's my preference. I followed Hades for how long? And she's like the bush queen, right? Like that's, that's her, her hashtag. Her hashtag yeah, is follow, literally the bush follow queen. Follow her on Instagram. It's Hades. Yeah. She's stunning, by the way. Arizona model. Yeah. Like, we don't know her. We just are fans. Yeah. She has an amazing bush because she's the bush queen. Um, but that, it, it, and obviously that doesn't bother me to see it on people. Like, it's, it can be sexy if that's your thing. But for me, it's not. And to assume that I would do it for you, it made me, like, question this, her, everything that, like. It's like, what relationship do you have yeah, where you, why you have to do, do something? Why do you have to do something like that? Like, what? If you, okay. Nah. If you are in a relationship where you feel where you have to do things that you're not comfortable with right. that you have to do that's, that's probably crazy, something that, that, should that should be, be a red flag yeah that should be like it's, you, know, you don't, it doesn't mean you automatically whatever no but, it should be addressed though. like hey and that's the thing you, you have to work to, through but if you have we didn't pick up on these things when we first got married you gotta like, talk you have to talk yeah. we, have we hid from our feelings quiet. for sure mm -hmm. and then like no i still mm -hmm. do that i'm really really what are bad. you mad about what are I'm you fine. mad about oh my god i do that so much I... or Oh, our pup is over there smiling so happy in the sun. I love when a dog... Uh, dog smiling in the together. sun. There's nothing better. And she crosses her paws like this. And she's just... Oh, cutest little queen you ever did see. Um... So we've ha I've had... We've had some... 
some, uh, what were we just, so we were talking about marriage and just like, and we didn't start out this way, you know, we really struggled. We had some talk, sick traits, go, I mean, like survive. I mean, they were just from trauma and everything. You don't really, there's certain, you know. yeah. And also there are traits that you have as children that are normal as a child. And then right. if you don't get out, grow out of them then they become toxic if it's For if sure. it stays the same as it was then and you're here and you should be here but you're here that's <laughs> probably that it could have some i do not follow your ladder so much there but... is a the point is there's a ladder mm -hmm. and if you're in different places than you're supposed to be you might fall off of it that's not the point i was making but like it's a recipe for being toxic or something. Just try to keep things aligned, you know? You're going to learn as you go, but as long as you're constantly striving to progress forward, that's... You're going to be okay in your marriage, I think. Like, because I would say... It, like, if we stayed where we were at when we first got married, we wouldn't have a successful marriage right now. No, that that condominium would have... Up. we would have been divorced you know like i really think so i guess i'm trying to point out you have to appreciate the, the your progress and know that there's going to be struggles but as long as you're going forward i think your marriage will be okay because you're striving and it's one thing you always say is like we've always tried to like put each not Put each other first but like i'm i don't want to hurt you i never want to do anything to hurt <clears throat> you you know so okay uh, oh it's, like it's you've entered a partnership with this person you're anything going that affects to be this thinking person about that person in in all aspects of your life right like if you so, go into business with somebody and some it's go you make a decision that's going that could affect your business partner you should run that by your business partner. Right. And so I guess the secret would be to communicate. Like that's, we've always been pretty decent at communicating, even when we didn't necessarily know how to communicate our actual feelings. We were able to come to one another and be like, okay, hey, something's off. We got to at least try. Mm -hmm. We got to try something different. And I think effort is what's going to make a marriage for effort communication and i like effort it's it's hard to like do if you're, if you're, effort is hard to do it, though of course like you get tired and then if you're not feeling like they're putting effort back so that's why that whole love language comes into play you know we have different love languages everybody does isn't it weird and the way you express love it's yes, different. It's weird that I from... sniffed your hand. And then the way you receive it and all that. What's your love language, do you think? Wait, 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 wait. You wanna you wanna say so, what you think my uh, love languages your love language. are? Language. Oh look at this bird, it's really Remind me in Bird, you're on So we have There's physical touch. Physical there's touch. gifts. Mm -hmm. acts like of the, service acts of service words of affirmation words of affirmation and there's five um well i can't remember it so it's probably not mine is is it a chainsaw <laughs> was that a chainsaw i believe so mm. okay so words of affirmation Absolutely is one of them. Yeah. Not your main one, though. Uh, it's it's pretty high up there, I would say. If people are telling me, I'm good. Acts of service, but your highest one is physical touch. Is this for me? Is it for yours? Like showing love? To with or receiving you would, love? To receive. To receive love, you're saying I Both need physical things. touch most. So physical touch. Physical touch, words of affirmation, and, and the service. Acts, acts of service. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are 
Receiving, I would say you need acts of service. Physical touch. What are the other two? Words of affirmation and... Physical touch. Gifts. No, you don't give a shit about gifts. But that's the, one of the other ones. Yeah. Um, so probably words of affirmation would be third then. Yeah, if you give me a thing, unless it's an electronic device, I don't really... But not even that. You like to... Yeah, you, I'd rather you, be the one to... Yeah, you want to research. You don't like gifts, And I also, yeah. I mean, it's not... Don't like gifts. Don't well, give me things, shut but up. like, don't and make you know, it weird. I mean, I mean, don't shut up. We're talking. This is a podcast. Please <clears throat> continue. Um, <clears throat> but okay, so yeah, I don't care about that's if if it doesn't affect our relationship. It, so I guess that's you what typically I mean to say is, show with acts of service as well. So if you, you never give me anything ever. I'm gonna be fine. Right is what I mean. There. Yeah. But I think you show your love with acts of service as well. So working, um, you you equate your love to how much you can give financially for some reason. That's your um, acts of service contributing to your love. Like, that's how you show your love. Um, you're, you show by acts of service. That's what you do. That's always... That's a big constant in your life is always has been i mean i I can attribute that to my parents for sure they taught me to serve others and honestly i I, like i feel better when i'm serving others yes but at what cost Mm. that's something that you know it's tough to learn because i i am someone who gifts a lot I... Well, it, it, it also, it, it does cause other problems. Like, you yeah. had a friend got mad at you because your way of being nice was to go clean their house. And, and yeah. I grew up, that's how we showed, like, other family members that we cared we go... for them. We'd go clean their house because they were struggling. Like, most of my family struggled with depression. Like, surprise, you know, you have depression. Of course I do. Like everyone in my family had it, you know, it's, and it's not uncommon to have that. So let's talk about it instead of pretending like we don't have it. What the, anyway, so we would go and help clean their house and they would feel better because their home was clean, right? Like, and you feel cl- you, most, you like, typically you feel better in an environment that's tidier. Yeah, also, and it's less I, like, likely to catch a fire or get a bug in it. I understood, the, or I thought, you know, like, dude, it must be so hard to have both parents working, because it is, I mean, we know this now, to have both parents working, and then you have no time to do house chores, and you have this home to take care of, plus every kid is going a different direction for whatever extracurricular they have, mm-hmm. and homework, and, like... And- there's a reason there's the saying it takes a village right so i jump in and i'm like let me help out like oh, you i complained that your house was messy I'm... i can take care of that during the day yo like i i'm already I... there babysitting your kid right so like why not do this and finds out that i'm cleaning her house what the fuck no one asked you to do that and it was it was not received well and i felt so so dumb do you think do you think here's my question do you think it had anything to do with when they used those clippy things to hold your eyes open and like kept them moist with droppers and forced you to watch uh mary poppins on repeat over and over again the fuck are you talking about like they clockwork oranged you into being because that's mary poppins was there to take care of the kids you were there to take care of the kids but like you look around and then it's it's messy they complained about it being messy so you so i just spoon full of cinnamon their house and yeah so i mean i felt really bad you know she and felt I... bad for getting upset about it but i feel like she was in the right there oh, no, yeah. i was invasive doing? and yeah and that's the thing is like 
we live why why does your home need to be spotless like you took care of the main areas it's okay to have laundry in your bedroom like the other okay so the other day i was like oh my god i can't post this look at my Just laundry very, overflowing you should, you should and then i was in like laundry room and run naked <laughs> through the house i was like no i'm gonna make a joke out of it because everyone has laundry and I was like, tap to make my laundry go away. And then I was like, just kidding. I don't even do my laundry. Because who the fuck does their laundry every fucking day? No one. I mean, we do need to do at least a load every day because we have a big ass family. So, But I'm just saying, like, it's, so much it's okay country. to let it go for a couple of days because we should be living. You should be living in your homes. Especially if you have children. What young if you're... Children. I don't... Moms. Or, honestly, stay-at-home parents. Stop putting so much pressure to have the perfect, clean house. Just... I mean, don't live in filth, but, like... Yeah, take care of... That's okay. true. You don't... As a kid, you didn't have fun at those friends' houses. You just thought, oh, yeah, there's a rich house if their house was clean. Yeah. Yeah, it, like, you don't really remember. Why was that? Anyway, like, I just... People live. I mean, don't don't go uh, Power of the Dog, Benedict Cumberbatch. Not... <laughs> no, never, not clean up for... Not washing up. Oh, man. Speaking mm. of that, I he... I can't help but think of Benedict... the... Benedict Cumberdong? Uh, the Cumberdong with... He kept the handkerchief. He hangs brain in the area and he's not washing we've established he doesn't spoilers wash. there and that smell and he's like doing this and smelling it over his face which like i get that's what how the intimate is for well like it's supposed to be very intimate to show obviously mm -hmm. oh bh who might that be you know um, only the fool that he idolizes and has, been has talking, not stopped talking he has about... said his name at least three times in every scene that he has been <laughs> like, in hmm. but all i could think as he is draping this beautiful handkerchief is oh my god that smells so bad um it has to the teenagers but we, then he does take it, it in the water butter. so maybe but oh ew. but he hasn't been Don't in the water call it that that is it's called nut butter it, that, you got toe jam, you got nut butter. It That's like vomit is coming up. Ugh. Toe Ugh. jam, nut butter. What Stop. Are we, nail crispins. No, nail. What what can we call the gross stuff underneath your nails? And I'm sure, okay. Actually, no. Have you ever been with a woman where you're just like, okay, that is so gross down there. I don't think I ever have been. No. I don't because think so. we clean up before sex that's true that's... and even when it's spontaneous and it's just well you just it requires so much like more it... effort on a regular basis but i feel like to we're have still even China. prepared for that and i like i don't think i've ever been with a woman where i'm like honey like you didn't ever wash well but i have definitely had that with men occasions i've been with men where i'm just like you're clean up here you what happened and, down there? And you smell nice up here, and then I get down there, and it is and like... And if you are taking care of it and it still smells like that, go see a person. You should, because there's likely something wrong. Hopefully that person's a doctor. You shouldn't smell like fungus. There's a fungus among us. You know? And if you don't know that, let's talk about that, because that's concerning. And or if you have a vagina, you don't need to douche. No. Oh my god. Douches are the dumbest. Dumbest. Maybe if a you said the other day, maybe if a doctor prescribes it, I don't think a doctor would. Like, would they? I don't know. If they, if they do, like, I maybe they need get if, a second opinion. To put I don't medicine feel like. In it. But they're like, you, I know you can put medicine up there, but but like, they would use it. Maybe I don't know. Oh boy, it. Your vaginas are rad. And Here's where I close just... the door. The first time, um, I, I I well. Here comes something. Oh, here we go. I, I love when I things remember as a, as a kid, I, I stole a douche from a store. And... 
I wanted to know what it felt like. I wondered if I was, if I was gay. I wondered, and I put a, a why would that make douche you gay? Liking something going in, and oh. I did not like it. Mm. Probably because it was just a douche nozzle and up your butt. Yeah, I just I, I feel like that would no be idea. so painful. Yeah, it was like, not a fun thing. Okay, because I mean, like obviously you start to explore with it, like, and I remember putting a, a finger in, and I'm like, that does not feel very nice. But All if you those. get wet enough. And you put it in. Then it feels very I nice. something helped it in. Yeah. Don't go back and forth, though. Yeah, for sure. Don't do that. That's Don't not a good idea. Forth. Do not go back and forth. Nobody. It, you, you get, it turns, can happen. Turns I feel red. like that's self-explanatory, but let's just make sure Never you know. Never go A to B. Do, do not no go A to B. A to B, yo. Condoms. Oh, actually, condoms was a topic I really wanted to, to, to discuss. Sure, condoms. Because I saw a TikTok about a good portion of people have herps. Like, herps. what was it, 80%? I think 80% mm -hmm. of sexually Some active form. people have herpes. Mm -hmm. Some form of herpes. Um, but we always use condoms. Always. Always use condoms. Um, <clears throat> we're very, very lucky that neither of us have HPV. As a kid... I was not, I was we, real bad. I did We were not the smartest as kids, but we became, well, I mean, we were monogamous very early on, and even monogamous with our serial we monogamy. Were, so when I we would were have one girlfriend acted, that lasted right. all through I, most of I was only with high school. one sexual partner. I would, I would do other stuff because I, but. The twenty-year-old I was dating when I was sixteen was my only sexual part, like, mm -hmm. um, and we were dumb. We, I don't think we ever used condoms. I mean, why would you? You can just pull out, which does not work. That maybe that's why you don't do that. Right. Um, also, thank God you can they get had that before you ejaculate. Yeah. Like there's stuff coming out. Here's the thing. It's just. It's not even just about pregnancy. Like, yeah, pregnancy can happen, but that's not going to be the worst thing that can happen for <clears throat> not wearing a condom it's far from the worst <laughs> like, aids is real it's, yeah aids was invented can you say i mean i don't know i don't have details to i don't have details out, but either I've, but it's... i've heard that and yeah it makes i've sense. definitely i've listened to a few conspiracy theorists talk about it and it seems to be to make a lot of sense i know crack cocaine yeah that that one is really gross like what crack is cocaine it like was TV? invented absolutely by um by the cia and the fbi again this leads back and, to and funneled kind into of what inner we're cities, going to talk about is keeping keeping the poor down and in every way possible so whether it's going to be we're going to play on addiction and to keep them down. We're going to um, say it's this is a temporary situation. Don't have to do it that long. Do it for so long and then don't worry. You'll rise through the ranks, right? Mm -hmm. um, temporary geek, right? <laughs> so Nightmare Alley, the uh, Nightmare Alley touched on a lot of so Thanks. because we watched that but it also falls in line with what we're reading in saga as well um so we'll we'll tie it in when we're talking about saga but there's just okay i never connected like form a fault form a sense of loyalty to yeah them. on at the beginning okay we're gonna get spoilery about nightmare alley oh for sure right now because Let's do that. That's, uh so at the beginning of this movie there is a scene where somebody there's a character a geek a traditional geek is not the way i describe myself All right it's, not it's a traditional not geek, geek is show podcast <laughs> yeah which listen to them they're awesome yeah it's one of our favorites <clears throat> so a geek is a carnival sideshow attraction who they who bites the heads off live birds and is like this dis 
shell of a human. That's the thing. And you're supposed to pay the money to go feel better about yourself because somebody's worse off than you. That's they'd explain it. So at one point they ask, Man, how do you get a guy to was a fuck, huh? Oh, terrible. Disgusting of you. Not even that's not even talking about the animals. Yeah, okay. Um so a geek is Basically, we're just going to make fun of someone. He and mm-hmm. ha ha ha. But also, like, this is the person at the lowest. Yeah, I mean, it, they literally have no other option than to do this in order to survive. Yeah, you got to do it. So. Uh... Or to meet their whatever basic needs. So if if it's addiction, guess what? We're so, going to make sure we feed that addiction, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to give them little by little so they mm-hmm. s- they never actually get off of their there's, addiction. There's a question in the movie. How do you get a guy to make he, he explains the whole... He lays out the same things that, you're, that you've been talking about with human trafficking the whole time and addiction and keeping poor people down. People desperate people not necessarily poor because yeah, that's what I if, if, find the, the right if money word, didn't it's not, exist it's not necessarily poor but it maybe it's class like we are the trying to mean it's what honestly it's whatever to keep the rich richer mm-hmm. it, it doesn't matter rich can take the form yeah. of money power whatever right the power powerful mm-hmm. the that's powerful all power that it's about power and power. Even in Nightmare Alley, you see this powerful woman, and she's, guess what? She's going to take advantage of <laughs> everyone in her path and maintain Because you her have power. To, to, you get to that level. You can't not have it. And Well, you... I don't understand in Nightmare Alley is how quickly he trusted the women, but you're so untrusting of everyone and then you immediately trust this bitch well the magic guy lays it out he says there if you if it's a man you're looking at go with uh if they're older it might be a son if, but if they're younger like you 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 think it's got to be something with the father that we right, can bring out to elicit issue. an emotional response and there it is. I do like how the psychologist is just... And it is, he does have a heavy hand with his father. Yeah. It's... Ooh, yeah. But I like how the Gross. psychologist can read people just as easily as this guy can. You know, like, he's a mentalist, right? Do you think he could do it? Uh, yeah, probably. Do it right now. Do it me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you... No, but, I mean... I've got I mean... a wife. Uh, her... her... I'm picturing a tennis ball is her head with the bald head the bald head is there and i'm picturing i'm picturing somebody who's recently read chapter five of of the the book saga by brian k vaughn and fiona staples right so we're picturing brian k vaughn and saga chapter five it's a good chapter. It's, it's, so far, it's my favorite. Because shit is getting real, y'all. And now we know what it looks like when a TV takes a poo. <laughs> we don't know what Although, the poos have antennas, though. Okay, so is their skin tone gray? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Um, But it's like it just looks kind of weird. Like, they're, they're still fully clothed. Even on the shitter, it looks like. It's, well... Because yeah. the coattails of the prince jacket hang below. No. The, like, the, how are you not shitting on those? How much does I royalty, know that. Disrobe royalty. To shit? I feel like... Just in real life. I, like, if you're shitting, wouldn't you be taking this jacket off at least? Like, you can take your jacket off to royally shit. <laughs> Okay. You're in a royal pile of shit. That's that's You're my in thought. For a royal pile so of shit. guess which book he's reading? This royal is interesting. Shit. I feel it's like the throne. You Yeah. <laughs> wow. You've always said this though that you have to have something to read while you shit. Oh, it's like you're gonna be there for so long. Such so, a long time since 
And I've, I've never... always said, like, if your legs are falling asleep, you shouldn't be sitting there that long. Just stand That's up a... and come back to poop when you're ready. Maybe it's a matter of posture. I've, ever, ever since childhood, I've remembered a poo takes a while. Like, people who get in and out in five minutes, what are you... What are you doing? Have, I mean, that's not even enough time to get it clean. They're living life. That's instead not, of sitting on a That's toilet. not even enough time to get it clean. <laughs> okay, so you're leaving your jacket on is what you're telling me? <laughs> no, I, I take it off and I hang it on the hook. But I don't know if, like, the actual prince says our dog's about to charge at some pigeons. That's some pigeons. The so pigeons are... have taken to banging River in our yard. drooling for these pigeons. Hardcore. So, Mr. Robot the Fourth agrees, Prince Robot, that you got to be reading. So he's like reading a a book. Uh, he's reading the book that Alana and the prisoner were reading together. That Alana had been handing out. The prisoner. The prisoner, Marco. Disgusting, Marco. Uh, it's because he's there. He's this is what he's researching, and he gets a call. He gets an imp a very important call. I would I would say. Because I like the if you're of... taking a call on the shitter, it's, it's got to be important. Uh, His we... wife calls him four. Four, yeah, Prince Robot the fourth. Its titles are four, sweetheart. Very much a part of who the being is in this story. Uh, yeah. So, like freelancers, right? They're we not. Discussed this he's last not week. Will. He's the, the will. will. Yeah. The stock is not stock. She's. The stock. So the and fact that he is Prince Robot the Fourth, like he's maintaining the four. And so he has no other name other than his title and right. who he is. Uh, and she calls it's like a pet name that she says. Oh, hey, hey, four. And I get the fe I get the feeling that nobody in this world calls him anything other than Prince Robot the Fourth, other than her. Right. Calling him four. Kind of like the name you have for me. <clears throat> yeah. Sugar we tits. <laughs> Can you imagine if I called you that uh, on a, like a regular basis? Like, oh, boy. Through the store. <laughs> Remember back when I was like an obnoxious in public all the time? Oh, my and God. I'm so glad store. we are done oh, with God, that Oh, God. My phase. 20s were... I, I was an idiot in my 20s. The dog is about to charge, so we don't want to get into story. This one is ballsy. Statue order, river statue order. Oh, she's good. Hard and go attack mode, not attack. I hope you don't catch one. If that's what I'm thinking. What I is she gonna do when she gets a catch? I this guess we did like... have a dog that, it, that, it, that, it, that caught one once. <laughs> wow, but this dog is not catching one. No, she's too slow. River, it's starting to be pretty anticlimactic. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like we gotta move on. I've committed. I'm two minutes into this shit. Two minutes of silence? Wow, wow, wow. I don't think my dog's catching a bird. Wow, that is so boring. <laughs> okay, so Four and Princess are having a nice, lovely discussion while he shits. <laughs> what are they talking about? Princess well, has some important news for Four while he's pooping. I would like to note that he he's like, hmm, this book is kind of fascinating. Hmm. So he's, it's, the, it's, the book is drawn, this this fella into, it, I would say, this is the start. 
it was originally discussed. They said it was a a cheap novel, like it was just a dumb romance novel. Right, like, like why would this be affecting anything? to something anything? with Fabio on the cover getting hit by the <laughs> bird on a roller coaster. Something MJ would read. Because yes. <laughs> we talked about our blockbuster choices, oh, right? Some, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> walking around the blockbuster. Oh, man, I just went for anything that was dirty sexy. Tingles. Dirty tingles. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Uh, <laughs> and... He's like, yeah, this book's real cool. And she drops the bomb. P.S. I'm pregnant. Ooh. And then he's like. What? Plurp. <laughs> he's like, I've never been as happy as I am yeah, now. Right, on right this now. Shitty planet. Shitting on the shitty shitty, planet. Shitting on the shittiest planet. I'm so happy. And I still don't know if princes and... take off their stuff to. I mean. Clearly they don't. What if you have a ball gown? How are you shitting in that? Yeah. Oh my god. See, I always thought that I would want to live in a time where there were like these big ass dresses, but now that I think about it, oh my god, no. Weren't Thank the you. only ones wearing those big ass dresses like the wealthy people? I don't know. I, oh, I, I guess, guess little women. No, yeah. they're, little women are fucking rich. They're rich, yeah. But even still, they wore oh, dresses we, back then. We might have to lay off our, our, our know, maid. Like, how can they our afford all that fabric for so much? Anyway, no thank you. How do you pee in that? How do you poop in that? No. You use that fabric. And it's just collectively wipe. And then you just turn wipe. it a little bit, wipe, turn it. That's why there's so wipe. much fabric. <laughs> and then that's why they only have two dresses. They just use that and then it gets to a point and then they have to go take it to the river where they... A go they go down to that to river to pray from and where hope they were executing it washes all the and shit burning away. the witches and oh witch hunts and, and then the the fat would go into the water and their clothes got cleaner that's from Fight Club there's like seven stories happening right no now. that was from Fight Club that I said okay the, the soap I that's know why that. they that's why I they feel say. fat to make soap. Yeah, on Fight Club. Have you never seen Fight Club? I've seen Fight Club. What? Have you never been a dude in your 20s? I feel like it was a movie that I was supposed to love. I probably did love it. I would never watch it ever again, probably. It's a good book. Yeah. Chuck well, Palahniuk. But I'm reading a book. better book. So, and they're talking about a subversive book. Yeah. He says, and then, he's like, I, it's it's interesting, but I can see it's going to be Here's this the book thing. Has problems. He's like, yo, I'm going to be a dad. My, and he plurps a turd. And then he didn't actually plurp a turd. I just, so there's going to be a I would pets. assume you would drop a turd if someone, if you find out, like, if you're pooping and you, they're like, yeah, I'm pregnant. You're finding out you're going to be a parent. Next I would up. drop a turd. Your dad says you still can't come home until you find those miscongenerators. Yeah, but he's like, cons I mean, she's like, you're still going to love it if it's a girl, right? Like, because the royalty's stupid oh, about yeah. all that shit. That's right. He's worried about, I'm going to have a boy. Do we know the sex yet? Oh, that's yeah, right. Like, because... And do we know the sex yet? Because. Listen, she just said you're pre like, she's pregnant. Like, maybe be like, yo, how are you feeling? How does that work? You if know, the oldest is but, a is a is a female, do they not get? I don't. Do, they don't do they have shit to, about fuck. What happens to the? Is it still the oldest boy? I think yeah. Isn't it? Isn't that how royalty works? Who knows? Um, if you're royalty, let us know. Please, uh, please let us know. We'll I'll I'll keep my experience. China set safe for you. Yeah, I like having that in our back cupboard so that we yeah anyway so if you have uh, the greatest place to store that is that poop. cupboard above the fridge that you're never gonna open yeah that, that's that where terrible you cupboard keep... that everybody the hates china just stuff. put this china there that's life hack you know what okay so i thought that's how and i thought i would maintain this going through the rest of our marriage was to maintain this china set that I got for my grandma for graduation. Like, she had bought us all one, right? Mm -hmm. our, my, our china set. And we would only use it for Thanksgiving. Can I just say why? 
because I love using every time I get either one of the plates or the little tea sets, any of the china that I got from my grandma, when I use it daily, it's like, it reminds me of her and then I have this nice memory. But otherwise I kept it stored until Thanksgiving. That's the only time I get to have it. That is so people, silly. People take care of things that are glass. They just, it, you, it's right. not like your people I know, are just going to be I always haphazard. thought that's how I would maintain this, mm. like, how to honor it, right? To keep it locked away and never see it? Yeah, but then as you Except get older, you start to realize. To enjoy it. Why are you not living now? Why, what are you waiting for? <laughs> your, the china that you're talking about? Uh, the first time I ever made chili verde, it was in a bowl and i yeah. i used i used habaneros i put like so three gross. habaneros in it and a you bunch guys, of anaheims it was so bad well i put like and a quarter of, of a cup here's of the thing you didn't used it. to cook very frequently so when you when you did cook i i was like a half a cup of salt i would sure. i would try to be like very Those supportive are good potatoes you know? But just tell me, communicate with me. I did. Uh, honey, I did. Oh, okay. But uh, you do get pretty offended when what? people don't like your food. And so it, it became very tough for a while there. Well, I'm better now where I'm just like, nah, that wasn't good. Didn't like it. Well, I, if you don't tell me. Right. You... I just said I'm better now. But there was a period of time where I would walk this line of like... I had a friend who has told me when I was working construction, he got home and the food was burnt and he threw down the fork and said, the fuck is this? And he was telling me about it and like, did he get beat? And I you fucking said that you're an asshole. And he's like, yeah, I know. I apologized. Which if they're looking for validation on something shitty, don't. Give them the push that will send them in the right direction. Like yeah. when I use a half a cup of salt in our mashed potatoes, our instant mashed potatoes, and maybe... I told you how nasty that was. I mean, you, I, we couldn't eat that. That was gross. Um, oh, God. Those were... I, the, I, I think that would have killed I will us. always appreciate your effort, though. My steak were talked good. about effort. I don't eat steak anymore. Earlier, though. effort is important. Um, speaking of shitty, while he's shitting and he gets this great news, he gets interrupted by some more great news. Oh shit, they've located Alana and Marco. Oh yeah, that's how we ended the last thing. We saw right. the beetle shaped spaceship thing. Spaceships coming down, right? So here we go. Uh, so so some shit goes down. Um, Troopers are coming out. With and the their wings. I think it's Marco's I got love his sword that their out. wings they're all different colors, shapes. I love that. This one looks like a dragonfly's wings and this one looks like an eagle's wings and Alana's look like little tiny nubs. Marco's okay. like, "Remember, I'm not going to kill anyone." And Alana's like, "Listen." Yeah, he does have a babe. sword out, but he, we're not killing anyone. I might be killing some people like I'm going to do what I got to do. Uh, some shit goes down. Alana gets shot through the chest. And obviously Marco's going to react to that. And we... This... Uh, the, the art on this is so, so good. It's so good. Because it goes from her getting shot and taking this hit. Marco seeing her go down, real, realizing... The fuck you just knocked my woman on her ass and it's straight up rage. Not not just rage, but terror <laughs> and rage in Marco's eyes. This is why I love comic books. Right. The, because the combination of art and writing, the storytelling that goes into that mm -hmm. is it exists nowhere else. It it's di it's not the same as in film where you show every picture even if you did right. a collage of images one after another 
it's not the same yes. um, the amount of story that is told in oh the gutter God, between these two images marco's face of pure like he thinks alana it, is dead yeah in that in that look and in his eyes you can see like despair and the way he says alana it the way alana's underlined exclamation the point, lettering like, it's just like this is the brilliancy of comic books and the next frame is the next is marco's face is the pure rage absolutely and he furious. just goes and completely nuts on these people like limbs severed kicks. i love the kicks the drawing of these kicks like the legs are so high um like look at that look at that leg it is up so freaking high. I love it. I used to be able to kick that high. I could totally kick that high. Yeah, I could and kick And then there's that some great mountain. face punches. You can, st every step of the way, you just see that rage. In and his he eye. is following through. He's severing uh, some wings. And he's be punching. He's and... using his horns like a ram. Yeah, he's headbutting this dude. You see. And you see he's about. Welching out. Oof. And he's about to break his vow. Like, what's the point? Alana's also, gone. let's note that in this rage moment, he is like... His face. Well, he says, kill all the feathered fucks. One of the feathered fucks like, is his girl. Is. So clearly he's, he's switched. And I love that the red he's color palette combat. is a way that a lot of people describe their anger. They mm -hmm. go red right mm -hmm. um, oh that's so right, the there's background. this red color palette going they were on in a snowy area as marco's like rage fighting all these people and then there's the blue color palette where marco gets hit with with the heartbreaker with the heartbreaker and it's so it changes so from that rage to this it, the it red is gone and you see alana and she's like babe that's enough you know, like, chill. And he, Marco is just so thankful. Like, what would I do without you? And again, the look on his just face, the he look is in so his thankful. eyes. He's like, what would I do? This is important to him to maintain yeah. his vow. And he knows that he almost broke it. And he almost lost her in the same right. instant. Right. Okay. So I'm sorry, but back to my kicks because look at the Will's kick. Look. <laughs> Like, it's so high. I love it so much. I don't know why it makes so me so happy. I need to learn karate. But it's like, is it? Yeah. It okay. makes me think of. The wheel's kicking open a door to. Uh, um, when I streamed last night and I jumped, I was Abby and I jumped so high to punch. Uh huh. That's like the, that's what I imagine this kick feels like. Ooh, that's a good kick. Like a kick or a jump and punch someone that's got to feel so good i just spit everywhere because i'm so happy about this kick <laughs> i i've kicked open a, a stall door why i'm for fun and dumb oh my god that reminds me of this tiktok that one of our one of my friends shared um of like a cis man in a bathroom and he kicks open the stall and just making all grunt, these noises grunt, like howl and like they're all like oh yeah like sexual noises it sounds like while they're peeing and then there's like a trans man in the stall being as quiet as possible and like i why are you so loud why <laughs> cis men when i was in high school i used to make my friends go sit and talk to me issues you had some issues we've discussed these issues coming out the seminary <laughs> building with me and... you make your friends poop with you they didn't have to poop <sighs> I, I was alone in the stall i it's just hilarious oh well, and why would they that's weird why would they go with you that's weird you got some weird friends <laughs> i'm just thinking then they're just smelling your shit well, you t that's so weird. One friend, I because I, I would reciprocate if they needed. I mean, you don't want to be alone in that those times. So one friend. I do. I do want to be the, alone in those times. One friend came out of the stall and he was wearing, you know, those gloves, those 
furry gloves that we all wore, the 99 cent ones. He was still wearing them, and I and I asked, did you wipe with that on? And he's like, no, I didn't need to. It was a clean one. You, you can't have a clean shit. It's shit. Ew. Uh, yeah, I mean, you still got all white. I mean, I guess Ugh. I'm... I'm female, so, or, you know, vagina, the, you gotta wipe anyway, you know? Yeah. Regardless of whether... If you have a wiener, you just have to shake it. But, yeah, you gotta wipe. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> Back to the kick. And then the pee gets everywhere when you shake it. Oh my it. god, stop with it's the... It's like... <laughs> It's it's a magic. It's like uh, you know how when you're supposed string. to use the those baster brushes to put stuff like you're supposed to like sprinkle it like just you splash whatever you're cooking with olive oil. That's what that's what happens when you're shaking your pee. And it's like just you everywhere still in get the bathroom. The dribbles. It's so weird. Uh, that's why you cover up your toothbrushes. I love it's that line there. from. It's on your rusty on your rusty uh razor. Because those, if they your sit in pee the, splashes, if it sits in the water, it gets rusty. So Why the pee is splashes your pee are going every... because you you gotta shake it off. I don't want to use the same restroom as you anymore. <laughs> this is this is happening in restrooms across the world. Anywhere there are penises. I know, like I know you gotta shake it, but does you it really to, need to go wipe. on everything? I mean, we could slow down and. The point. Be a... Anyway, Just so Will kicks open a, and... okay. a door. The kick. Let's go back to the kick. Look at that kick. Okay. Oh my God, it's a great kick, and the ass in this man is. We talked about going prone. The Will going prone. I want the Will prone. It 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 would be a good. He's butt. probably got some buns. It's got some buns on. Uh, so he's saving uh, this little girl from Sextillion. And... Yeah, because remember the head smash last last time? And oh, so yeah, they're like, to do we're, we're getting out of here. And oh boy, no, they're not. They are so not. Well, there's because this guess what? Really cool character has got a gun to lying cool cat's head. I know. When I say really cool character, that's a cool, a cool that's design. That's a pretty cool, yeah. All Actually, the characters. It's like cool. a it's purple sun demon face thing. Clawed mouth. <laughs> uh, but what does a slave girl call her? That's my um uh, Mama's her owner. son. That's Mama's son. She's oh, that's my her owner. name. Okay. Um and so Mama's son has she like owns the sun this place. place. Right. Right. And this uh, is where like that sex trafficking idea comes back into play. Like, um, so she's saying, you know, um, slave girl is explaining this. I was, um, oh, sold my, you know, my oh, dad, because the will got to have a plan where he's going to take her. That's okay. I'm back up to speed as they're running away. Like, Hey, I, you know, they own me here. Mm -hmm. I was sold. My dad was trying to save my brother. He sold me here. I was told that I was just going to be a maid. Oh, yeah, they said and it would just be cleaning. I would have, I would have liked that. Line. I would have liked that better. But that's how they get like so talking about sex trafficking, talking about you it know happens. back to Nightmare Alley where Some... they're they're just like it. It's just going to be temporary, you know, or you're just going to be doing this, or I'll give you a little bit of this, and then. That's how they keep it going, mm -hmm. right? So they're telling this girl, and I'm sure they told this girl's father, yeah, you know, like, like oh, we're not going to be taking her to sextillion for anyone to fuck her. No, we're we're going to just have her be cleaning up stuff. It's okay. You know, like, but, but I'm sure that happens across the board. So Well, it happens. Um, a lot of coyotes will... Uh, they yeah, will they'll, funnel they'll them into promise this place. one. It, you, I don't know where I was going. Sorry. That's okay. Um, but I, I mean, I think across the board, it's like those promises that they make. It's that manipulation. Like it's, it's only gonna be this way for a little while, or as long as you do this, you know, we'll set you free from 
whatever. Um, and Mama Sun's like explaining, listen, if she doesn't stay with me, she doesn't have food. She, you know, she doesn't have a roof over her head. It's yeah, better. Yeah, on that other planet they took her from. Yeah. It, it, that's it, why she got sold. Yeah, it's better for her to be here with me. So and, I don't even know why you're, like, throwing a fit about this girl. And then she's and like, for, oh, no, it's Mama Sun. She's my owner. Like She's the owner of Sextillion. Yeah, yes. Um, And there, there's no way Slave Girl's getting past this. So we see Mama Sun with... Lion Cat. To Lion Cat's head. Yeah, and w what the fuck is going to happen? Um, so. And nobody messes with freelancers. Yeah. That's a th so yeah. if somebody's messing it's with a freelancer's very clear. Pet, yeah, it's very clear that like that's a big no no. There's so, some power here. Right. Um. <clears throat> anyway, this line right here is uh, it got me because she's like, oh, so the will you think it's morally acceptable for you can just murder anyone at any age but it's not okay to fuck at any age the fuck it's not i mean murder's not so, okay either but right but i was literally thinking this so as we read this i was like what how does she even compare those how is that mm -hmm. even a question and the will pulls through and says basically what we're all thinking. Like, if I got to explain the difference between those, you're too far gone, bitch. Like, you got some moral issues it's, going on there. It's showing us little bits of this character, like yeah. little love kernels that, uh, love for, kernels. for the will that are like, right. I, he's kind of a monster, but is, and he's after the protagonist, but do I love this guy? Do, yeah. Is he, um, so she pulls the trigger on Lion Cat, and he is about to lose his shit. Um, but then she's like, hold up, you know, e even if you tried to leave with her, she has shit in her blood that it would, she would die. She's gonna die, even if you try to leave. So, there's no point here, the will. And Oh, that's right, her, he, she said her blood will calcify and harden yeah. and lying cat does not say she's lying yeah so, e so what's the will to do he's got to pay off her fine or her and warrant or whatever you can is, see the struggle in the will be like he is he's like he okay, doesn't I've got know that card though he doesn't know what to do anyway she takes the child and the card and he's like what how can i get you already sm you smashed that dude's head yeah. man you got to pay for that with the card. The card that obviously was basically was free reign uh, for money. A limitless for the free... until the job was done. Yeah. Um, and so she takes the card as damages for Smash Head guy. Oh, Smash Head. Also walks away with the child. But she does say, hey, if you want to buy her, you can buy her. Right? So how are we going to do this? So he needs... Roughly six hundred and fifty thousand. How do we get whatever that may be? Fifty thousand something. Six hundred and fifty, and he's like, think, 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 we... think. And we jump back to. They stole the spaceship because Marco had just destroyed these dudes. Um, didn't kill oh, any. So bloody. by the way, Such a we find out here because Alana stopped him from doing anything he'd regret. Mm. So we love Alana so much. She disabled so the much. tracker on their spaceship so they don't yes. get catched. And so, yeah, they're and they're off in this little beetle of a spaceship, about to find their forest, right? Or are they not to the forest? Well, they're they're going no, back and forth yet. about all the shit, how terrible their day was, and then Hazel does a little giggle. A little giggle. Oh my god, it's so cute. Her smile is. And how is she? giggling as a newborn what they've oh it's so cute it the art is a really cute little baby mm, little, cute, little baby. cute little baby and the, you know, it's a moment and then maybe today was a really good day yeah it was a really good day think it, i love that because it reminds you to you know things Face are it. good today things can be good e yeah even things when might be hard you yeah. gotta like headbutt a couple fools and sever a wing. Don't actually no. We're not. Don't sever don't, wings or headbutt anybody. Or headbutt any. No, no but violence. even though this is a non-violence podcast. Yeah, non-violent. What I mean to say is, even though 
your day can look really, really tough, there can be beauty in it. So find it. Hmm. Like Hazel's Giggle. Oh, or listening to a Jaded World podcast. <laughs> so there's a bunch of winged, colorful wings tied up. All and a, tied up. And a spider head. I will say these are the same wings, right? That just fought. Got yep. in a big old fight. The 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 people That's from clear. Landfall, the Landfall soldiers who were after Alana and Marco, who just got the wrong end of Marco. The wrong end of Marco have met with the stock, and the stock gets a call from. So she's not dead from the horrors. No, but she gets a call from the Will, right? And they're like, "We got to work together. Come on, I need your help because he's desperate. He's got to figure out how to save Slave Girl, and like he needs a lot of money. He can't see something terrible happen and let yeah, it go. He's not gonna let this like, go. He's not gonna go out looking for things to fix, but if he sees it, right? He's that's that's his moral compass. He's a chaotic good, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, a, I mean, it's, yeah. I don't know. he's got honor. He does have honor. And yeah. I think he, he's, he does have that fatherly aspect. Like he's a protector, even when it With comes lion to the cat stock too. lion cat. With like, anybody. Yeah. It, he has that. And I think other characters that come into play down the line, he, he maintains Ooh. that kind of fatherly aspect. I think anyway. Um, so anyway, as the will is talking to the stock, distracting the stock, obviously, um, a, a dude shows up. What dude? This this one dude known as Prince Robot the Fourth. Oh, well, you they know? were gonna work together, right? Not the stock. The stock and the will weren't they gonna? Oh, they're trying to figure their shit out and. Oh, and the and will. The will confesses, like, listen, the only reason I was acting a fool is because I'm still in love with you, you stupid dumb idiot. You stupid dumb idiot, I'm in love with you. I'm and still Lion in love Cat with doesn't you. even say shit. Yeah, Lion Cat's not saying anything, so perhaps the will is, you know. Mm-hmm. So she's got to hang up. It's like, yeah, right. You're just telling me this to. Get me to help you. I guess we know that Lion Cat doesn't yeah, say anything. Yeah, but she doesn't know that, right? So then as but she's, she's all distracted with love and whatever, she pulls away like, what's this dumb idiot? And she's like, ah, crap. It's a robot-headed So she says, ah, crap, while she's still on the phone with the Will. The Will does hear that. Look. The Will stock. says stock, not the stock. Oh. So... I feel like maybe on a friendship level. Actually, but... earlier than that, on yeah, he says stock, stock please. please. So that... so nobody else, There's because someone... somebody tried to call him Will earlier, and he corrected. Them. Right, and same thing with her. I believe she corrects the stock, or I guess maybe she doesn't correct, but everywhere else it's the stock. And here we're just seeing her the it. Will referred to as, as stock. So anyway, ah, interrupted. And as... So she's putting her phone away as Prince Robot yes. tells her, hey, who's there? Because he shows up. His soldiers are tied up. What's he going to do? He's gonna he's uh, expecting something Right. Back. He's like, what's going on here? The fuck happened she's here? She's reaching for something. And he's like, or the stock's like, calm down. Like, I'm an independent contractor. You can't do shit to me because, mm -hmm. like, I didn't... And... Prince Robot's soldier that's with him. She's reaching for something. What do you think that's... What, what do you think's going to happen there? Hmm. hmm. Well, he flashes to a rattle flashes on his face. Rattle face. So he's, he's got to protect baby. his fucking family. Oh my god, I hate So that. when he... And when <laughs> Prince Robot gets emotional, when robot people get emotional, he, they flash something, whatever they're thinking on their right. face. If they don't control I it. I feel like it's very erratic behavior we've seen from... Prince oh, Robot and so then far. he blasts a fucking hole right through the stock. Like when when we first meet him, he, he can't fuck because some he flashes right. It's erratic behavior. All over the place. All over the place. Um, <clears throat> so he flashes the rattle. He's got to protect his family, right? Like, it. I'm not about to die before I see my kid. And boom. Well, that's what happens when you're scared. You make erratic there decisions. There is just a. Big old fucking hole. So last time I thought the stock was dead. The stock. But I didn't see the body. 
right now. I I safe to say I see a hole through. There is a their big chest. old hole through their chest, and, and I don't think there's coming back from this one. The phone line, and we hear dead phone line. The will. The, we hear. Stop. We read. Hello. 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 And that's like, the end of chapter five, yo. And I bet the will's this, gonna come running. I feel like this is gonna send the will into some action. I mean, he he's been pretty like whatever. But not only does he have, like, he's desperate to save Slave Girl now. He's which, also can has... we get her name already? Because I hate calling her Slave Girl. Ugh! I know. Um, but, so he has that motivation. That's a beautiful scene when and she gets the name. the stock was love. He just confessed. His that he loved the stock. Love. And murder. Oh, uh, boy. Happy Valentine's Day right through the heart. Straight through the heart with that right shit. Right through it. Man, that is... Oh, again. This is my favorite the chapter art, so far. I, like, this... It makes me... Sorry for the word, but it really does make me cringe. Because look at those arm hand things. But also how beautiful is it, that yeah. art. Mm. It's so great. Um, what what a fun... I, I mean, this is... It's really going to get going now. It's going to. I love things are ramping so up. We've uh, we've established the world. We've established our baseline, and what's going to happen from there? Oh, <clears throat> now we man. now things are Chapter starting to. Chapter six next week. Also, characters that you thought were invincible now we know can easily be yeah, shot we, through the. Yeah, we listen. We're heart. only in chapter five, and a big character like I, when you first told me about this, mm -hmm. the stock was a big character you were describing and i feel like everyone knows the stock is like one of the main characters it's they're she's... dead already right chapter right five in, right in the heart so through the heart i and i feel like to it's safe to say we're we're you on a journey love a bad name journey of deaths for saga. Um, that's good we're gonna have a lot of deaths uh, but to celebrate life, we watch things. What you been watching? Okay, so we watched so many movies. Let's we've talked about. We're, we want to. We've always tried Benedict to watch all the Oscar, Cumber, Cumber, the Oscar movies, Cumber but we, we've always tried to watch all the Oscar movies, but we never get there. But this year, we're getting pretty close. We're pretty, pretty all the nominees. Close. So, my least favorite. We'll start with. Because I felt like it was just a waste of my time to watch it. Even it great acting, but like pfft, a dog. Okay. The, the power of the dog. The power of it's a dog. Okay. Benedict Cumberdongs. There's the star. I I could have more Cumberbutt. I liked the butt a lot. He went prone. I liked the prone. <laughs> he crawls through like a little tunnel. Yeah. I th I was genuinely wondering if it was going to change tone and become a fantasy movie at some point so, because he covers himself in mud. Yeah. I was, but I guess that's just a mud, a dust bath. A, just a dust. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that was my least favorite. I feel like there was great acting in it, but I was just like, okay, another scared. story of uh, I'm a gay un cowboy. I'm always uncomfortable with the older. Older with younger. Yeah, yeah, the age dynamic always makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, the smoking at the end. The episode of mm. that love show on Amazon with uh, Ruth. Mm. Yeah, creeps me the fuck out. I there's. A... So that's that's been my least favorite movie, but I can acknowledge like Benedict did amazing act. Like Everybody. he was such an asshole in that, and he did really, really good. Uh, Jesse Plumpton and Kristen Dunst. Amazing acting in it. Her drunkenness. You didn't know they were married. I did not. That was weird to find. I Like, I found out literally like they a week ago. They so hard they got married. Damn. We need to finish Fargo. <laughs> We've only, we're only on season two, I think. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, so we watched also... Nightmare Alley. Nightmare Alley. I, I We've been just, watching that zombie show. The acting is off the charts in Nightmare Alley as well. Oh, yeah. We're um, talk about things for a little bit. I really liked the line, um, 
about how she just like numbed herself to the electricity until she could handle it. Ooh, when it just um, passes through. Yeah. And I I feel like I, I've become very good at that with certain ailments. I can just like, sh- we'll just pretend like that pain isn't there. Yeah, I guess I've... Uh, I've and uh, you do it a lot too. I think a lot of people do that Swallowed a dude. few illnesses. And you just kind of like... It's like almost like we have to because like well we I gotta remember, work we can't miss the day. It at was work. a point of pride you know? that my grandma got her foot run over as a kid and by a horse or something mm. and just was so strong that she just never got it fixed or some shit like what? why? Just uh, but I I feel it. like uh, well there I guess you can't because you have to that. pay for medication. Oh yeah, mm. but. Why do you pride yourself on, like, being able to handle so much pain? It's oh, the silly. thing that could easily be solved? Or possibly be like, solved? listen, give me the fucking epidural. Why not? Like, yeah, why? It exists. Uh, so, I mean, not to it? shame you if you don't like it. But... Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm just But saying, don't shame like... people who do like it. Yeah. Take advantage. We all have references and stuff. All right, what else did we watch? Um, being the Ricardos... Uh, I loved being the Ricardos, the, and I can't I stop Lucy. thinking about it. And it makes me want to watch I Love Lucy. And you put it on last night, and I was like, well, shit, I gotta wake up and watch I Love Lucy. <laughs> uh, you said that while you were sleeping? I was so drowsy. Did you know that you said that? I know I said okay. that, yeah. Um, because I did want to, I wanted to wake, I wanted to wake up and watch it, but I was very, very Because so many times you tell me, oh, no, don't stop the movie. Here's I the thing, once I've had... Asleep. The me- my nighttime medication that you have to have when you're over the age. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, not really. But um, if you have mental illness, you yeah. Sometimes once I've had that medication, it just kind of you get to know the side effects of your medication. Yeah. Uh, I also let's talk about this. It's important. It's yeah, right here. Yeah, it the is end. important. Uh, I had some medication that changed so I couldn't come, it's, and that's uh... weird. It's um, tough but when it, it I'm going to talk to my certain, doctor about yeah. it and figure it out. Yeah. And when it affects things like that, it's so difficult. Like, I can stand okay, the attention. Am I? <laughs> yeah, I you can. But we've also had COVID and we've also, like... Maybe I was just tired. Yeah, there's been a lot going on. Maybe my heart's not pumping to and maybe my ejaculatory gland. <laughs> there's not enough. Yeah. Okay. Oh Maybe God. I need to drink more milk. Ew. Gross. Ew. Um, I'm going to cut that out because it was a Louis C.K. joke that I was referencing. Even more. What else are we watching? Uh, da, 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 da. Being the oh, Ricardos. Being I the love Ricardo. Lucy. I put it on last night. I feel like both of... Um, it Nicole was... Kidman... And Javier Bardem... Yeah. They were just... The acting was so spot on. Do you know him for, from other things? I know him from other things. I I mean, I know that he is an amazing actor and has probably won for things, but I don't know that I know specific movies. He, was in, he played, like, this super menacing character in uh, No Country for Old Men, where he's, like, chasing after Woody Harrelson's character. Mm-hmm. No, not Woody... Uh, Josh Brolin character so uh what's that guy's name with the snap thanos with the snap. Hey, uh yeah javier bardem chased down thanos right and then he's later in uh and he plays another very menacing character in a james bond movie i just loved the i mean he nailed lucy like the way he says lucy it's almost like it takes you back to watching Lucy as I love Lucy as a kid. Mm-hmm. It, he, yeah, it was so fun to see it. Like he was so damn charming. Yeah. So it was weird to see not be afraid of him, but also I he was the a servant. Setup they did with the word home. Oh my god, that got me. Ooh, yes. The uh, the initial she wants to be home. Mm-hmm. The whole and then movie. when he says it, oh, and the way he says it, it like tears your heart out. Oh, sweet Lord in heaven. 
I great it, movie. That movie. Check that one out. For Mandela sure. effect. Of all, all the over movies, the place. that one got me the most because it it was childhood. For yeah, me. it's. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably. I wouldn't say it's the best movie, but it got me the most. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Nightmare Alley might be the it best be movie a, for uh, me that I so far that we've seen. Um, oh, I am very excited to still watch Coda. Um, oh, that's right, because we we've American always... Sign Language has always like had an important part in my life for some reason. Like, I we guess taught that, our kids ASL yeah. when they were infants. They don't know it now, but but they at least they knew the as, basics. You know, from eight months to you know, help them communicate three with three years old. Our kids were signing, so mm-hmm. um, I've. I've always been drawn to that community. Um, Niall so, DeMarco, he's, um, <clears throat> he was on America's Next Top Model. He won. He's, oh, is he in this movie? I don't know if he was in this movie, but he was promoting it a lot because he's deaf. He won for Top Model. Because representation matters. Yeah, and he was just so excited that... And then I know that he was posting about... Um, the actor in it the supporting act. i don't know his name which i should have looked it up before this but um i think it, he's the first deaf actor i know there's been the actress that has been nominated before but i believe he's the first deaf supporting actor that's awesome that is um to be nominated so that's really really cool that's amazing stuff anyway i'm excited to watch that one so we'll have that to talk um, about next week yeah uh, I feel like there. You're was... gonna play some oh, video Peacemaker. games. Oh, Peacemaker. <laughs> That's the end of the season. I think it's the end of the season. It made me that cry. Was... It was. So How did John good. Cena make you cry when you can't even see him? It's so bizarre. How did he bring that emotion when you can't even? <laughs> How did a CGI bird? That bird, what the fuck? The CGI and then, bird <laughs> oh my hugging God. a guy you can't Taking see. A peacemaker trying to take a selfie with Eagly. While oh a bird's God. hugging him. Oh my God, it's the best. James Gunn. The opening brilliant. scene where, like you pointed it out, uh, the, the what, Eagly in the... When he, yeah, Eagly kind of like misses his... His flies voice. it swoops in <laughs> and he and stumbles like, to go forward and it just cracks me he, up he looks down to ca- <laughs> to look at his spot and then he moves to his and like making when sure he hits <laughs> he's oh he's he gets brutal in that movie he tears eyes out yeah and he's like one of the team and he's like a dick to oh, oh my god like i just realized or something i just realized so they just plugged in generic team member guy on team with eagly because he that guy doesn't need any dialogue he just needs to be an asshole to the one of the other guys on the team and punch him in the back seat right and make him uncomfortable so just pissing john off like no other <laughs> yeah because you feed your bird chips <laughs> Peacemaker's a really good show. I cannot believe I love this show. <laughs> I'm it's, thinking of any scene with Eagly. Any scene with Eagly. Plus, when I, they run out of the room, Vigilante and, is and, growing on me though, and Eagly's and just kind of like Eagly's, but Eagly's just walking with them. You could fly, you stupid bird. Why I are know. you walking? <laughs> I love that the bird has like a swagger walk to it, though. Mm-hmm. Eagly has got a certain walk. He knows that he's the toughest in this car. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you in a car, man. Eagly? Yeah, like get on top, fly above them, check on the scene or something, Eagly. <laughs> okay, uh, it's been a fun time. Oh man, what a fun day! Uh, we're we playing just video recorded. games too. Oh yeah, I'm twitching now, y'all. Uh, Watch me play The Last of Us. It's hilarious. We go pro. And I'm playing Final Fantasy again. So let's 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 have some fun. Have a good day. Love you all. <laughs> you wanna? I should have tried that before. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs>
It wasn't that bad. It was just a sound check anyway. But we missed your singing. It was beautiful, operatic. Who's? Opera. Opera. Really, the purpose of this is to see if whatever music is being you know, played music inside the... from there is heard. Let's do a little bird. Like this. Oh man. Oh well, you'll find it quickly. What chapter are we talking about? So that when we start talking about it, I can say the number without stumbling. Oops. Don't find my goblin. The dog. The dog does a scritch. Scritchy dog. Why are you taking feathers in the house, dog? A feathered house? So the dog walked by. Degrees. How oh, doing dances over there? Oh. Birds have been having so much sex in our yard. The birds have been having so much sex in the yard. How much sex can a bird have in a yard? Well, we're about to find out. And I'll take a refill on aisle two. And some Asmar for you. Asmar. Asmar. A tray here. Well, cool. Okay, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Pet I Nashley. I love slash hate that so much. Okay, we are on chapter five. All right, Let's I'm go. gonna edit this part out, but uh, before we start talking about that, I oh, want to bring it in. Oh, did you get Asmar on there? Yeah, I, I'm gonna get. Yeah, there's some Asmar in there, but I want okay. to. Uh, I'm gonna cut back to where we were, and it's gonna be like a funny joke. Oh. It's, I'm telling a joke for a change. Because, you know, I was thinking about... Peter's got jokes? I was thinking about what Fred said. Fred, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, we were talking... To, that was another movie we watched. Wow, we, we nailed the movie scene this week. You had some good choices. Whew. Okay, um, here we go. So... What did Fred say? Yeah, he just asks... The lady who plays Vivian, who plays Ethel, he's like, "When you gonna? When are you gonna be funny? When are you gonna start being funny?" Was that, wait? Was that the joke? Yeah, like because he's just mean. Because that's their thing is that they're just mean. Mm. Interesting that there's mean comedy all through the things we watched, like so people. Much mean. We, I mean, we do tease each other quite a bit. You stupid butthole. Wait. Um, what's, why is... That's all you got, you stupid butthole. <laughs> uh, why you slouch sometimes with, with bad posture every once in a while? Why you tell me I have bad posture all the time? Because you said I was mean. You said to be mean. Mm. I do slouch. That's where I went. I was trying to think of something Ooh. real that people want honest if you slouch. I do. I Did lie. you see how much I was slouching while I was... Even I when I feel like I'm sitting up straight, I still have a curve to my back, so... I do be slouching. I do be slouching, I tell you what. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So you were gonna make a joke about my oh, tennis yeah, ball gonna... head? Oh yeah, because that's the last thing we said. So I'm gonna cut back. <laughs>